The Russian commander revealed the main problems on the Ukrainian front. Russian troops are exhausted after suffering significant losses following their major attack on the key Ukrainian town of Avdiivka, a US war think tank has said. Russian and Ukrainian forces fought fierce battles around the strategically important eastern town for a third day after Moscow launched one of its biggest military offensives in months. The Institute for the Study of War, ISW, reported that Vladimir Putin's troops are subsequently exhausted, according to Russian Vostok Battalion Commander Alexander Khodakovsky, who is now even advocating for Russian forces to freeze the front line in Ukraine in order to make replacements. Khodakovsky said that the Russian infantry forces on the front line in Ukraine face problems of counter-battery capabilities, commander competence, medical supply, rotation and supply. Khodakovsky claims that the lack of communication between Russian battalions and the headquarters was so widespread that when the Ukrainian troops attacked the building of the Russian headquarters, the Russian battalion did not understand that the headquarters was out of order and continued to conduct operations independently, the information says. It should be noted that Khodakovsky previously complained about problems affecting the ability of Russian troops to conduct effective combat operations. Khodakovsky is a former commander of the Alpha Special Unit of the Security Service of Ukraine. But after Russia attacked the Donbass region in 2014, he defected and became the security minister of the Donetsk People's Republic. He left that post in 2014 and has been commanding troops in the Donbass region ever since. Earlier, Khodakovsky suggested that the only way Russia could win the war is by using nuclear weapons against Ukraine. The ISW added that, in the face of relentless attacks, Ukrainian forces have managed to destroy at least 36 Russian armored vehicles, including tanks, according to a Ukrainian reserve officer. Avdiivka is described as a gateway to the city of Donetsk, the capital of the Donbass region, and has become a symbol of resistance since Russia's invasion.